Well, hi everyone. Well, about five months ago, I did a video about Three Gorges Dam, and to date, it's one of the most, actually, it's the most viewed video on the channel. And Three Gorges Dam is in the news again because of massive flooding in China. So I'm gonna go over how they've been operating that dam, and I think it leads a lot of credence to my main concern about Three Gorges Dam, and that's not necessarily due to potential for structural failure, but essentially hydrologic mismanagement, that at some point the dam could be overtopped. And that's a very, very dire situation for a dam like this. So let's go through the latest news and uh, I'll show you the details that I'm talking about. So as a refresher, Three Gorges Dam is on the Yangtze River. The dam has a maximum height of 185 meters, maximum reservoir level of 181 meters. It's the world's largest gravity hydroelectric dam. Just an aerial view of the project. Show you the general location of Three Gorges Dam. And here's the Three Gorges Dam basin. There's been massive flooding both upstream and downstream of Three Gorges Dam. And of course the Chinese decided to open up several of the floodgates and they're just blasting downstream areas with even more water that they don't need. And it's caused massive problems. So to give you an idea, the inflow to Three Gorges Dam this July, early July of 2024, was upwards of 50,000 cubic meters per second. And to create additional flood storage, they're releasing about 60% of that inflow as discharge. So they're not just letting all the water come in and storing it behind Three Gorges Dam. They're letting 60% of it flow right through and it's just blasting out downstream areas. To me, that suggests that they're in panic mode here. It's a photo of a July 12th discharge. Now this is an interesting plot. It shows you how they operate the reservoir from the flood control pool at 145 meters to the max operating pool at 175 meters. And of course, the higher the pool, the more hydropower you generate. Now the cycle is that the reservoir level is drawn down in advance of the wet summer months. And then over the rest of the year, in the fall, the reservoir attains its maximum value to generate hydropower to the extent possible. So they allow the reservoir level to decrease again to 145 meters. Now the Three Gorges Reservoir set a record for July, it was July 13th, 2024, at 166 meters which is about 20 meters more than typical for July. So as this statistic indicates, once the reservoir level reaches 145 meters, they can start releasing water to maintain flood control storage. But again, they're operating as if they're in panic mode, letting so much water go downstream, contributing to even more flooding. There's towns downstream are completely flooded out, like this uh, Jujang, downstream from Wuhan and Three Gorges Dam. They've had to evacuate hundreds of thousands of people, as this headline indicates. Now there's a reservoir downstream and its levees were breached as a result of all this excess water that Three Gorges Dam released. Some photos of that. Now they employed some desperate measures to try and plug the, the breach in these levees. Pretty ineffective. Actually, it was rather wholly ineffective. You know, they're placing fresh concrete in rapidly flowing water. That's not going to do anything. China's done this sort of thing for many years now. Recently, there was a farmer in California that employed this same tactic to protect his farmland downstream. It's an act of utter desperation. And of course, throughout China, there's been numerous landslides. <laughs> Dam failures, levee failures, bridge collapses. And this isn't a new story. You know, there was a massive amount of flooding in 2020. And at the time, China, again, denied that 
millions of people's lives were at risk because of issues associated with Three Gorges Dam or the operation of its reservoir. You know, the takeaway from my earlier video on Three Gorges Dam is that there's really no reliable information either way about the condition of Three Gorges Dam. So all you can really gather is really what's going on with river levels and flooding upstream and downstream. That information is making it out of China into broader media outlets. But, you know, China is still coming to grips with years of misrepresenting something as relatively straightforward as their demographic number, their, their population. And, of course, now that they're more or less supposedly more accurate with that reporting, they're finding that their population's in drastic decline. So they're going to end up with an inverted pyramid where a vast percentage of the population is old versus young people who could continue to work, pay taxes, and keep the economy moving. So we'll see how this turns out with China. But again, I'm very alarmed about the potential for overtopping at some point with Three Gorges Dam. And obviously they would be desperate to uh, prevent such a scenario. And you can see that here by massive releases of water downstream, just blasting people downstream so that they can maintain additional flood control storage in the reservoir. You know, we've seen instances in the United States where of course, much, much smaller scale, but old dams that failed because of overtopping. I've done stories recently about Rapidan Dam in Minnesota. There was a dam in Wisconsin, Manawa Dam, that failed about 10 days after Rapidan Dam failed. And in both of those instances, the reservoir level rose to the point where it fl flowed over the top of the dam and eroded out the abutment contact and resulted in an uncontrolled release of the reservoir. So I'll continue to provide updates on Three Gorges Dam. I want to send a shout out to the channel members. I really appreciate your ongoing support. I also would like to send a shout out to those of you who have provided super thanks. That's another great way to support the channel. Check out the links in the description. I've got a couple of free digital downloads, one on the Artemis NASA program and the other on the biggest civil engineering disasters of the past 100 years. Thanks for watching everyone.